guys today i will be filming a pregnancy get ready with me question and answer video so i'm gonna get ready and answer some questions that some people asked and then i looked up the rest because why not but first i'm gonna get my hair ready first so i'm gonna do the question and answer part when um i'm doing my makeup It's not the best, it's not the best, oh. but. I'm going to start my makeup. I'm gonna just start by wiping my face with some wipes just to clean off any oil. Got some lip gloss on. Okay. So my first question is, what were you hoping to have? Before I ever got pregnant, I've always wanted a boy. I always wanted a boy first always said that um i always wanted my son to like i wanted a son so she could look after if i have a daughter you know older brother i initially wanted a boy but then once i got pregnant i found out i was pregnant and everything just seeing all the girl stuff in the stores just made me go girl crazy and i'm like no i want a girl a girl i want to do hair i want to be able to do hair i want to be able to you know do all these different things dress her up the little bubbles and the clips and and everything like that that's what i wanted to do once um once i found out i was pregnant this is so i was hoping to have a girl but then i took the blood test and i found out i was having a boy which i'm very happy about like don't get me wrong i'm so happy i'm having a boy god knows exactly what he's doing and why he gave me a boy so i'm doing my brows
is your due date? My due date is August 19th, 2021. And he will be a Leo like his mama. Period. Or if he comes after, he might be a Virgo. But um, I'm hoping he's a Leo. If he comes before, he's going to be a Leo too. How far along are you? So I think I'm like 29 weeks right now. I'm seven months. Every Thursday is when my week um, changes. Like this Thursday, I think I'll be 30 weeks. And I'm hyped because I'm getting down to the nitty gritty of it. And soon my baby will be here. definitely well throughout this whole pregnancy I've been saying I, this is probably my one kid like honestly speaking but I definitely would like to have a girl I would definitely love to have a boy and a girl I've always wanted three kids but um this pregnancy humbled me a lot with that three kid talk um yeah i definitely would want another i mean i don't mind not having any more kids i don't really want my baby to be an only child though so i don't know with it i'll have to see you know and it all depends on two i need my life to be together like right now my situation it's not the worst there's people that have have it worse out there than I do um I'm still living at home with my parents but my parents support me and everything but you know I don't want to bring more kids into this world and I'm still living at home I don't have a, a place to call my own you know and I'm struggling I'm not where I want to be in life and all of that good stuff I want to have everything you know I want to be well good well off like not needed for anything so yeah craving honestly speaking I don't crave anything like specific <laughs> excuse me it's me really putting my head down like how y'all even supposed to see me I don't crave anything specifically um I just crave food <laughs> like I just be wanting to eat honestly um whatever I want at the moment like yesterday I was feeling for Popeyes so I ordered Popeyes or I might feel for a salad so I'll make a salad or I'll buy a salad that's really about it I don't really um crave a specific thing like people crave weird stuff I don't really have that uh next question best part of being pregnant Less part of being pregnant is, I would say, knowing that I have somebody coming into the world and um, they're going to love me for me, like for real. Like, 
no corny like not even to be corny or anything like this human is going to come into the world and grow to love me for really who i am and um just knowing that i i am giving birth like i'm having a kid like just the thought of it yes it's scary too but it brings so much joy knowing that i'm gonna have somebody that i can really love this is gonna be my person like my baby my everything like somebody i can really this is gonna be pure love like love at first sight and um i'm excited to meet my son so much like i think about it i think about it every day i just look forward to holding him i already know like the few days after he's born i'm still gonna be crying because i just freaking gave birth to a child like ugh. that and feeling him kick even though now it's uh, it's painful but not in like a real it's like uncomfortable not like painful like oh my god it hurts more of like a ugh, like discomfort like because he like squirms he kicks me very hard too but he squirms around a lot so it might feel like i have gas i feel like i have gas a lot so but it's just feeling feeling him move one of the best things like i don't know i just love it it's just like hey babe like he's like moving and i love when he moves because it lets me know like sometimes i get paranoid if he doesn't move for a while because it's like are you okay in there what's going on but um the worst part of being pregnant is just not feeling like yourself like um i try to do things that i am used to doing going out being out all day walking a lot you know and I can't, I can't do it. Um, it's hard to try and continue living. You can't live your life the way you were living it before. Honestly, you can't push your body um, the way you used to. Like before, we wouldn't even think it was pushing our bodies. It's regular. But when you get pregnant, you're pushing your body going out every day walking up and down you know pushing your body um i was doing that and i crashed like my body crashed on me and i had to stay home and i felt like i was sick like i could not move my legs hurt my back hurt everything hurt like i had to just tp and just lay down for a few days <laughs> seriously because i was still maneuvering like i wasn't pregnant and I, I feel like i do that to so i don't feel isolated like pregnancy can have you feeling isolated no matter how much people you have around you it, it doesn't matter like you can still feel alone like because i feel like everybody's still at their life going on not saying my life is not going on it's just like everybody else is doing you know they regular they could go out they could drink everybody's still living their regular regular lives and i'm just here pregnant and it's hot and it's hot outside like just not feeling like yourself not being able to do things that you're used to doing um the sickness i didn't have i had morning sickness or like i didn't even have morning sickness because i used to get sick in the afternoon at night but um i got sick more in my first trimester second trimester early second trimester and then my second trimester i started feeling better um worst part about being pregnant trying to brush your tongue trying to brush your tongue is one of the worst things ever bro i don't feel like i'd be brushing my teeth properly because you go to go back in, in the back of your throat and you you gagging and throwing up no matter how much you try not to I'm gagging and throwing up, like, and it's, it just grosses me out, like, ugh, why am I doing this, like, ugh, I can't even brush my teeth in peace, you know, 
and it, it's just annoying like and then you get sick after that because then now you, you're throwing up like for real for real like it's not like a little one two uh then you start and whenever you stop is whenever you stop so i would say that's the worst one of the worst things i feel like too is not not i wouldn't say not having the support because i have support it's like people find out you're pregnant and they're so oh my gosh i'm gonna be there this is this whatever you need call me you know i'm gonna check up on you all the time and blah 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 and not to say like people don't have their own lives i'm not expecting everybody to just drop what they're doing for me because i'm pregnant but like i feel like a lot of people sat and told me they were gonna be here for me and they really weren't like not saying i need needed them like needed them it's just a lot of people that i expected it from like close people that told me whatever you need or you know i'm always gonna be here and blah blah, blah. and they just weren't and it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because it made me feel like nobody cares about me but i kind of got over it and i kind of got over myself a little bit because everybody has their own thing going on that's why i try not to like oh you don't care about me i'm pregnant and you don't check up on me and because i'm gonna be honest i don't check up on people the way i probably should but for certain people, I feel like I'm the one that's always checking up on people, or always texting, you know, and I feel like it shouldn't be like that. Like, if I'm your friend and we're so close and all of this, why do I have to keep ringing down your phone to speak to you? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. You Are you not concerned about, you know, me, how I'm doing, my health? and whatnot people see you posting on social media and just think you're okay social media is a whole different life like people pretend i'll sit and pretend like everything is good and my life is falling apart but you try to keep that that image or whatnot on it's on social media so you sitting here thinking i'm all great i got money i'm doing this i'm doing that, i'm going here you know taking trips or whatever it is Meanwhile, I'm depressed. I'm, you know, so I, I, that's one thing I don't like. Pregnancy aside, too, I feel like people try to make it seem like, oh, you know, they posting this down the third on on social media, so they good. I don't gotta check up on them. Like, no, check on your friends. Check on your friends. But anyways, names that I picked out. So, my baby's name is Amir. And I had this name before I got pregnant too. I always said I want to name my son Amir. I love that name, Amir. So that is his name. I had um, Ethan, I had Elijah. I had a lot of Bible names, um, honestly. Um, but Amir was always like, I didn't, I always knew like Amir was gonna be his name. Like if I have a boy, his name is Amir. But I didn't want to just limit it just to that. I wanted to have other options just in case, you know, I wasn't really feeling Amir. But his name is Amir. Uh, will I film it? So I was just talking about this the other day. I don't know. Well, I, I want to film my, um like, not labor. Well, yeah, labor. I want to film my labor journey and everything i don't think that i'm going to film delivery like me actually pushing him out i mean of course i'm not gonna have like my coochie on camera but i don't think like when that time comes i don't think i'm gonna be focused on youtube if you know what i mean like while i'm in the hospital while i'm getting you know checked in and whatnot um contractions and stuff maybe i'll record 
but I feel like when it goes down to the nitty gritty of things, I don't feel like I'll be focused on that. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it like a priority. I mean, if I do, I do. If I don't, then I'm not gonna be upset about it. Cause I wanna, I wanna experience it for real, especially since this is my first child. I don't wanna be so focused on like, oh, I gotta record for YouTube, I gotta record for YouTube. I just want to kind of do it. Are you scared of labor, natural, or medicated? I'm terrified. I watch so many videos on people, um, like, not people giving birth, but, like, telling their story. Uh, how they teared. I'm terrified to tear. Um... I'm terrified. I don't know. I'm just scared of the pain. Like, my pain tolerance is so low. I'm just so scared that I'm really going to freak out. Like, I'm scared that I'm going to freak out. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be there. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Like, I'm so scared. And that's what I was just saying about the whole natural or um, natural or medicated. I don't know yet. I'm leaning more towards medicated just because I know myself. But I wouldn't mind doing it naturally if I could. I did my face. I didn't put on lashes or anything yet, but I'm gonna take my headband off. And honestly, it's not perfect for me. It's not Scaldiana, like, you know? But It's better than how it was looking before. What do you look forward to after pregnancy? I look forward to, and okay, for one, I look forward to being with my baby, like taking care of him. As, as hard as my um, people say it is, you know, getting used to being a mom and stuff, I'm looking forward to being with my son like being a mom i'm looking forward to being a mom i'm looking forward to actually taking care of him learning about him what he likes from what he doesn't like you know i'm looking forward to that i'm also looking forward to going out with my friends like i look forward to going out with my friends i look forward to get, going to hookah spots like i'm i'm gonna be honest i feel like people you become a mom and people expect you to not want to enjoy yourself anymore. Right? But then they'll be like, oh, don't lose yourself. But once you go out or something, they try to make it seem like, oh, where's, so where's the baby? Like, I look forward to going get, to get drinks with my friends, going out, going to parties, all of that. The stuff I used to do, I look forward to, I'm going to do it. Just maybe not as much, but I look forward to doing all of that stuff, like. And nobody's gonna make me feel bad. Cause I already said, for the most part, if my baby's not invited, I'm not coming. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be outside. 2022, and I'm, 20, I'm turning 23, yeah. I'm gonna be outside. I don't know about y'all. Do I plan on breastfeeding? I definitely plan on breastfeeding. I hope that I produce. <clears throat> I hope that I produce a lot of milk, and I hope that he latches on decently. Like I don't have any struggles with the latching and stuff like that. Cause I really want to breastfeed. I just prefer um, breastfeeding. 
I feel like it's going to be more intimate, more connection between us. So I want to best for you. I like this. So I'm gonna get into Miss Bob here. So this is the ending of my video, my get ready with me pregnancy Q&A edition. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be um, putting where I got this wig from on the screen and in my description box below. Pose, 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 it's the bottom of me. the face for me is I did that I did that period shit me but yes this is the end of the video I hope you guys like like comment subscribe um share my video get me some more subbies and I'll be putting out more content a lot more to come and I hope you guys enjoyed the video peace